Meeting your partner in a coffee shop should be a piece of cake. Oh, hiya. But for Boo James, it can be a challenge. She has face blindness, a condition which means she can't recognize people's faces, friends, family, even her own reflection. I've definitely been on a bus having someone waving at me, not knowing who it was, and then later discovering that was possibly my mother through conversation and, and other such happenings. So even close family are not safe. <laughs> and what's even more extraordinary is that Boo only discovered she had the condition in her 40s. I used to explain this to myself by thinking that I actually didn't like other people. If I met them and then wiped them clean from my memory, how interested was I? So I perhaps decided I shouldn't actually mix with people much, if that's the only level of interest I had with them. Or possibly I was even thinking, was I from another planet? It's thought up to one in 50 people have a form of face blindness, though not as severely as Boo. And many people won't know they have it. It's difficult to describe how those with the condition see faces. I see component parts of a face. I can see there's a nose. I can see there are eyes and a mouth and ears and various features. But it's very difficult for my brain to hold them all together as the image of a face. For example, I'm looking at your face now, but if I then turned away, I would find I had very little of a coherent picture of what I'd just seen. So if I showed you this person, no, no idea at all. Can you tell me what maybe you're, you're, you're picking out there? Well, I can see he's an older gentleman. We've got the lines around the eyes. I feel the eyebrows are, ought to be distinctive. Perhaps they are to other people. If I told you this was Donald Trump? Oh, really? So that's what he looks like. <laughs> um, the President of America. Bit of the and now researchers in Wales are looking to learn more about prosopagnosia, its official title. Scientists at Swansea University are looking for people who think they may have the condition to take part in new research. We're beginning to understand that some people who have prosopagnosia um, seem to see faces in a, in a slightly different way from how most people do. They're not, they're not really picking up on the, uh, the same kinds of cues that, that we would pick up on. If we can really kind of work out exactly which part of the brain is going wrong, then we can start to look at remediation of this, of this uh, problem. So we're working here at Swansea at uh, developing a rehabilitation programme for people with prosopagnosia. For Boo, there's no real treatment for her condition at the moment. But she hopes better awareness of face blindness could make something as simple as a walk in a busy park a little less daunting.